monuments of Dukluk, Sayed's and Lodi's period include Dugladabad Fort, Firosha Kotla, Paragambat and Shishgumbat, the tombs of Giyasuddin Dukluk and Firosha Dukluk and Muhammad Shah Dukluk, the Kihiri Masjid, Bikumpuri Masjid, Chamali Kamali Masjid, Moth Ki Masjid, and numerous boils and many more structures in and around Delhi. Moments of the regional kingdoms. The Indo-Islamic style of architecture influenced the regional kingdom as well. Ahmad Shah of Gujarat founded Ahmadabad and decorated it with grand structures. The most famous among them is Jami Masjid and Sidi Said Mosque, the latter being the famous of its beautifully carved Chali screens. The rulers of Malwa built numerous structures in Mandu. Some of these are Jama Masjid, the Hindola Mahal, Swinging Palace, the Asfari Mahal, the Jaza Mahal, and the Tomb of Husang Shah. The Adina Masjid in Pandua and Duck Hill, the Waza in Jaur, are the most impressive monuments of Ail Shashi and Husain Shah rulers of Bengal. In Jaunpur, Abraham Sashari built the Atala Masjid. Languages The Indo-Islamic languages, mostly North Indian, started in emerging in 9th and 10th centuries. Odia and Bengali in the East, Marathi in the West, Hindi and related languages in Central India started coming up around this time. They developed from Prakrit, which in turn had developed from Sanskrit, and two forms of Hindi, Baj and Avadi, became famous. The Punjabi and Sindhi also grew in importance. Other regional languages that developed were Assami, Kannada, Telugu, Malayalam and Tamil. The Puranas, the Ramayanas and Mahabharatas came to be translated in different regional languages. The Turks introduced Persian in India. It became the language of administration. Much later, Persian and Hindi fused to give a birth to a new language, Urdu. Urdu means camp. It was called a camp language because it is evolved and developed in a camp of soldiers. Urdu developed as a link language which was spoken and understood by all. So thank you friends. Meet you tomorrow with part 5. Bye.